Good morning, and welcome to the vlog. I did a thing yesterday. It has something to do with these little frog guys. <laughs> it's so bad. It's a disaster, but there is like 14 meters of fleece here. And three bags of the polyfill. Why? Why? Uh, it's because I have a problem where I get uh, hyper fixated on things. So anyways, I'm going back to the store today. Mm, I might not be. I kind of want to, there's a couple other colors I want to get, but also like realistically, do you need to? No. So we'll think about it. But um, I'm gonna get dressed now because we do have plans. We have to grocery shop. I don't know the last time we've like actually done an actual grocery shop. Typically we've just been like picking up stuff here and there, but today we're actually gonna grocery shop, which is fantastic because it is pouring rain outside. So we love that. Um, and then I think I also want to go to Walmart and start picking up some things for other Christmas presents that I need to make. And I don't know, I slept in pretty late. It's like noon now. Um, I also want to cut some fabric. I still have like mascara, I think, caked on my eyelashes from stream yesterday, but I played this game called Sack Boy, A Big Adventure. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, um, which is like Little Big Planet and that you play like the super cute, wait, I got one. You play as the super cute little sack boy um, look at him, he's so adorable. Um, and you can dress up and stuff and save the world, etc. So that was lots of fun. It was a really good game. The music was phenomenal. The levels were amazing. Just such a good vibe. It's like literally, someone was like, this is your game. I'm like, this is literally me in a game. Um, so yeah, but that's where we're at. That's the update. It was so much fabric, but it's so cute. And like, I've got, we made progress, okay? So I have all seven of these guys stuffed. I still can't find the circle thing, so I'm gonna print that today. Um, and then I cut eight of these pink guys. They're so cute. And I ordered some more safety eyes because I think I'm gonna run out soon in my attempt to use all this fabric. Also, I, like, I got like two meters of every color and I should've just got one meter. Could've probably just got half a meter, honestly, but we got hoarding problems and I'm aware of that. <laughs> Anyways, can't even get dressed now. <laughs> it is so rainy outside, torrential downpour. Just did the first stop where we got some food at the McDonald's and Walmart and grabbed some stuff from Walmart for Christmas presents and just random things I needed. Like, I'm also filmed for my Polaroid Instax and um, my booty slippers are and dying. Yes. I think we'll take the baskets in with us. Yeah, that was the plan. We're planning out our trip into Superstore because it's miserable! It's so rainy. It's so bad. Okay, so like it's probably really loud, but we left the house and there was like fire trucks and stuff kind of nearby. We had to turn around. We couldn't go down the road. If I know it's a gas leak, like an, an excavator, I believe, hit a gas main. And so the road was shut down they had to evacuate if we had been at home we would have had to evacuate we were like super close we were kind of close and it's now 3 15 and we just got word that we can go back um so we're doing that but i ended up going to the fabric store again because i am the worst but you know what we had to kill some time and spend some money i don't know just got home and boy do we have more stories but <sighs> i need to shower first because i'm super gross but i need to do it quickly before the guy who <laughs> Is coming to fix this. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I mentioned that our toilet was broken recently. This has been broken for a very long time. Landlord never came to fix it. When he came to fix the toilet issue, he washed his hands and broke that further. So he was supposed to come back the next day, never came back. And then today he called and was like, or they called and they're like, yeah, he's gonna come by. And we're like, there is literally a gas leak. Like he won't be able to get in, but. I'm gonna shower quickly because we don't know when he's gonna show up because my mom called and no response and I'm super gross and that needs to resolve and then I'll show you what I purchased and then the stupid thing my mom did when we got home. Alrighty, hello. So I'm out of the shower just wearing my cute matching set. I got the matching shorts on. Um, so when we were getting home, we had a bunch of groceries and stuff and my mom opened up the back of the van, but she didn't open it up all the way and she went to go get her boyfriend to be like, hey, can you help us with all the groceries that we have? She didn't realize she hadn't opened all the way, so she came back head first into it. Jeez. So I think she might have a concussion. Um, I just got out of the shower. I'm going to go down and check on her, but I mean, her boyfriend's with her, so it's not like she's alone and unsupervised. But before we do that, I figured I would just 
share the things that I bought that I needed or I didn't need when I got a sports bra, I'm wearing it. <laughs> I have been having a hard, I've, for the last couple of years I've been looking for like really good sports bras and I've just not been having luck with them. Um, I have a couple that I like really love. Can I put this in a better place? It's probably fine. I have a couple that I really love, but they're like starting to fall apart because I haven't for years, but I found one I think is gonna be good. So that's exciting. Step one. Step two, I got some Instax film for my Polaroid because my Polaroid camera because I found it recently. I was like, hey, wait, great idea. <laughs> I got a beauty blender so that I can have two so I can wash one and keep the other one and use it. Um, you got slippers and because my booty slippers are dying. I'm a little sad though that they didn't have pink ones because I love pink, but it's okay, I'll survive. I got a couple shirts for um, Christmas presents that I need to um, iron stuff on too because I don't think I'm gonna embroider. I think I'm just gonna iron on. And then, because we couldn't get home because of the gas leak issue problem thingamabop, we went to the fabric store, like I said. I didn't need to go to the fabric store. There's so much fabric, but we got more! <laughs> So I'd been looking for some black fleece and there was one bolt of black fleece, but it was like way up high and it was wrapped in plastic because it's like brand new and I was like, ugh, but I found a remnant. So that's exciting. I don't know how much I paid for this. It was, let's see. Sale price $11.50, but it was probably a little bit cheaper than that because of the going out of business situation. I got some white. Oh, this is the one I actually need to empty because it's got some notions in it. I got some light blue. Did I need that much of it? No, I'm gonna need to like get rid of clothes to store the fabric at this point. I have a problem. Um, I also got just thread to match the fabrics that I got. Um, do I probably have some that can match? Maybe, like especially the black and white, but I always like to get black and white. And then I got these scissors because I've been constantly using my really good embroidery scissors when I'm sewing and I figure that these are probably pretty good because they are embroidered scissors as well, but I can keep them in my sewing machine because currently I have, you're like literally on my sewing machine, currently I have these ones, they just don't really cut anymore. <laughs> so I think this will be better, just keep them in there so I don't have to constantly be like, where are my embroidery scissors and then find them. And then, <laughs> I promise I'm gonna stop going. I just got a red and then like this dark pink because I think this dark pink as tummies for this would look good, maybe, or alternatively, this color as tummies for that, definitely. So that's where we're at. And I did confirm, I checked the Etsy listing for the pattern or the store actually yesterday that I can sell them. I figured I could, <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that like legalities and everything is fine. So yeah, that's what we got up to. I'm gonna put on my little booty slippers. This is a disaster. It's not even funny anymore. Um, I'm going to put my booty slippers, going to go check out my mumsy, and then probably figure something out. I think if I put away my clothes, that'll make a huge difference. And honestly, I'm like, maybe I need to buy an extra hamper that I can just keep all my extra fabric in that I don't have a home for. So anyways, we shall see. And then later I want to print the frog pattern again, because one, when you use the pattern regularly, it'll start to degrade over time. And two, I can't find the tummy. And then I also need to print um, another thing I'm a bop. We got lots to do. We're gonna try to be productive with cutting a bunch of patterns out and sewing, at least flipping these frogs, if not stuffing them, getting their eyes in and sewing. Alrighty, I've been sitting here stuffing pink frogs, modding my friend's stream. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. I'm almost out of safety eyes, so I don't know how many more I can do, um, but we did nothing over there. So <laughs> I think the plan now is I'm gonna go make um, dinner. We're having nachos. And then when we're done, I want to clear off the table and, well, maybe when we're done, I'll come up here for a bit. And then I want to clear off the table down there and cut um, some bigger patterns. I'm kind of tired. I, did, I didn't get to sleep till like four last night because I'm the worst. But anyways, gonna go try to productive or something. Feed, feed, gonna go feed, that's productive. <laughs> Something is so wrong with me. All right, well, these guys look like naked wall rats without tummies, but I'm sure they'll eventually look like frogs. I still have these four here to um, sew shut, but we're switching focus now to cut some things. So I got my, my gypsy gripper apparently, which holds, makes it easier to hold this, and I'm gonna cut a liner and an interior for a bag that I cut out for myself forever ago. It's really cute, it's Galaxy. And then I'm also cutting out another bag. And then 
uh, a couple patterns. I need to actually print and cut one pattern first before I can cut out the fabric, but I'm sure we will be fine. I should probably take down needles while I'm down there to pin. That might be helpful. Never saw the way you kissed me with your eyes open. I was wrong to think that you could be the thing I wanted. Going so fast that the lines were only blurry. Didn't stop to realize that you could hurt me. I think that I would have died. Are you ready to see the state of my room? Wait, wait, wait. I don't think you're ready. It's embarrassingly disastrous. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, so, <laughs> I don't even know. Um, what I can say is I've cut um, the bags I need it to so the pattern can go away. All of this fabric here has been cut so it can go away. I got room up there. <laughs> the fleece is the issue. Um, the clothes just need to go away. And then I think it'd be a lot better because there are dirty clothes just kind of strewn throughout. It is so bad though. I came up to change my shirt because I'm wearing like this velvet one. I was getting kind of warm. And I looked at that and I was like, <laughs> never mind, I don't even know where a shirt is <laughs> to change into. So I I did I got quite a bit done. So I got the bags cut, I got the whales cut, or the whale cut, and then I've got my frog pattern again so I can have the tummy. And then I've got the dinosaur pattern, which I just need to kind of figure out which parts I actually need so I can cut them out. And then I can cut that tomorrow. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit for a bit and relax because my back always kills me uh, when I do that, um, the, the cutting. And then while I relax, I will do this. And then I'm gonna go and deal with that. I think maybe put my clothes away tonight. Um, and then I've got some potential ideas about the fleece, but again, there's like 20 meters of fleece, so... First of all, I super love these booties. They are so cute and so cozy. Again, I wish I could have got them in pink, but it's not the end of the world. Second of all, it's not perfect, but it's eight million times better. Um, I need more hangers, but I was too lazy um, to dig them out. And then that's what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Desk is pretty clean. I'm just kind of getting ready for tomorrow. Here's my little situation of frogs. Three of the uh, green ones I still need to sew up. No, wait. All of the green ones I still didn't use soap, I remember. And I am actually so tired right now. I feel like this is probably what it feels like to be intoxicated, which is not cool. Um, so I'm gonna go to sleep now. Thanks for coming along today. It was an eventful day. We got fabric. We technically got evacuated, even though we weren't here, so it didn't really affect us. And I got a couple more things for Christmas presents, which is very exciting. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sleep, hopefully really well. I only have like six hours to sleep. And um, I will see you in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe because we are back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday with more content. And with that, good night.